Jared, what are you doing? I'm uh, making <laughs> myself. <laughs> We're carving a collaborative fish. Ryan and I, this is our very first one. I've got some inspiration from a fish that I got from Kirk Schnitker and um, it kind of models after a stiletto style Jay McEvers fish. So we're going to give this thing a whirl and uh, look for it on eBay. It's going to go towards our whitefish weekend fund. <laughs> Team broke back. Team broke back. Undefeated in the one time, well, pretty close to undefeated in the one time show. That's not my that's problem. Not thing? That's not my problem. Well, that's if they're going to get that's... copper then because I don't want to paint them. <laughs> well, then you got to tape them, which is even worse. Mm. Or don't you do that? I do tape them once in a while. You've got some Joe Fulton eyes in here. Wait, do you want, like, a forger there? Huh? No, no, no. Oh. So, trick of the trade. You're just going to go and make a hole with it. Yeah, so, for years and years I tried to line up my eyes to mm -hmm. get my eyes, like, yeah. I'd have like a caliper and trying to make my eyes straight, mm -hmm. and then that bit, ain't long that drill bit ain't long enough. Um, but then here, that's the right one. This will work. I don't um, know. So then I was like, why don't I just take a drill bit, and before I cut my pattern out, you mark where the center of your eye is going to be, and then you just use your drill press and you make sure your drill press is level. Yep. And then you just start it and you mm, learn something new every day guys. There. Now wherever you draw you'll have that center spot where your eye is perfect. Perfectly square. Man, I've, I've then, actually then your eyes front to back and top to bottom will be perfect every time. Sweet. I like that. I like that idea. Have for liability insurance. <laughs> She's thick, boy. here mm -hmm. like if I try to do it like diamond shaped like yeah. this I think it's gonna be breakable I might mm -hmm. try to do it just like that mm -hmm. so the bottom is flat and then right. have you know so the nose comes like this and then right. yeah so far that's what we're dealing with don't have any we got a little knot there we're gonna have to work around got a knot right above the eye we'll mm. have to kind of deal with but other than that pretty cut and dry and here's uh, another one of uh, Jared's decoys. It's actually a plaque from a spearing tournament. We make we make uh, plaques with the decoy that we got the biggest fish on. That's the one he made. So pretty sweet. 
Not often do I get the biggest fish, but when I do, slenderness of a fine woman in stiletto heels. <laughs> Don't hurt your toes. Alright. That Jared guy, he knows a lot, don't he? Okay. We'll have to quit our jobs and Jared and try it. We want to make him stilettos. <laughs> Miles of swoosh. Miles of curves. Just like a woman, right? Just like a woman. My wife, of course. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't really be happy if we didn't offend at least half of our audience. <laughs> Here, this is how we're going to do it. Fifty percent yeah. gone. <laughs> gone. Gone forever. We'll edit that out. <laughs> no, I don't like that. I know you gave me a you gave me that one knife. Would you rather use a knife or would you rather use this one that I think you gave me that one? Uh it doesn't matter really. I like to undercut these walls. You're gonna need a more powerful unit. Uh, that's a definite possibility. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dab. Dab, dab. Dab, dab. Does that look good and symmetrical? Yeah. Uh, this maybe could come out right there. Yeah. Oh, my glass is getting shorter. Oh, whiskey and some water. Radio. <laughs> I got that have a drink on me by ACDC stuck in my head now. I think I need a new end too. Like that handle's getting shot. Is that really all the hotter that thing gets? Well, it I'm has. Just, a, I'm just asking. So yeah, I'm, I've got a coal wood. No, I'm serious. I got a coal wood uh, dual, and like if you turn it on 10, that thing it's, is glowing, it's glowing red hot. Decoys to carve here, Jared. The last two or three years, less than 20, I bet. Really? Yeah. Oh, maybe 20. 30 tops, I bet. More than Thane Johnson. Yeah. Thane, if you're watching this, we love you. Yeah, we do. We miss you. We miss you. We gotta go do this at your place. Or you come do it at ours. I got a really good coal wood burner. <laughs> So delicate, so petite. You gonna dremel it out then, or what? Yeah. It's gonna get dirty, guys. Oh yeah. Oh my god. 
Good enough to hurt for it to smack you right in the face. I almost took my eye out one time. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing it without safety glasses or while drinking. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. It's getting there. I like the way I'm seeing Hey. Hey! I think I might have some that are a little bit bigger. But eyes. This oh. is a. This would That's be a, quarter, a six yeah. millimeter. Something classy. Elegant. Like a tack. Okay. Selected for their grace and elegance. Which video was that? Um, it's on my YouTube page. Don't you follow it? It's the one where we're up at Cabotogama and Jordan Studio. Oh, yeah. Good shot, Dad! Good shot! Yeah, that one. I love, I love how jazzed up he gets. I know. Have you ever seen that where she'll ask me like 10 questions about something <laughs> that I have no clue? All I hear is a one sentence answer to something, and she'll say, Well, why are they. Why are they doing this? So I'm hard. really bad with my wife because she'll tell me something and if I'm not like if I'm not like in interested in it, I tune out. Yeah. And then I'm like, you know, when yeah. I figure out, oh yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. She's like, did you hear what I said? Two weeks later, you're doing something you didn't know nothing about. Mm -hmm. I told you. We had a conversation. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Ugh. I like that time that uh, that little date Northern came in and I freaking darted that son of a bitch and I went out of the house and said, Fold the tents up, boys! The show is over! <laughs> Anything but round. What do you need? Oh boy. I'm thinking I'm going to take the, the inside of the eye and instead of just doing like a round mm -hmm. dish, I'll kind of, I'm going to kind of shelf it out like that. Yeah. And then go with the flow of the fish. I'm excited to see your portion of this. See the direction you took it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is that 60 grit? I'm not sure. You want 60 grit? Uh, that's 100. That's fine. Maybe we name it Val for Val Kilmer. 
didn't ask you. <laughs> Not you, smart ass, didn't ask Why you. Why don't you put a metal tail on it? <laughs> no. No. Dad, you hear that? Yeah. He loves his dad. I'll go without you. Eating homemade noise from the bottom. You've been playing that a lot lately. Oh, it's egg unit. Yep. He went hard in the paint. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you want to get some paint? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like paying homage, you know, to kind of use that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're kind of paying respects. Yeah, a lot of the old school decoys, they had that stiletto look to it. I'm trying to think who specifically uses it a lot, or used it a lot. Like the term stiletto is obviously a Jay McEvers fish, but yeah. Ernie Newman kind of had that yeah, kind of upturned nose. If you look at some of those old musky lures. I don't hardly collect a lot of Ernie Newman fish. Some things that you don't have that you should, yeah. you're going to like it. Like the flapper? Uh, flap sander is okay. It kinda, a flap sander, you can... You can kill a fish with a flap sander pretty quick. Yeah. You know, you can wreck it because yeah. it takes away so much material so fast oh. that, like, I've noticed it takes away the contours of, like, yeah. a body, you know? This fish is going to be sick. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It looks mean already. It looks mean. Should have made two. Should have. Why didn't we do that? Or four. Take me two. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Three. Let's see that sexy beast. Look at that thing. It's all within what? Maybe an hour and a half work? Hour? Yeah, about that. Yeah. See kids, you can do it too. I was gonna say, and you too can be a decoy carver. Get off those video games. Get out and shop. Make something that you can hand down. Nobody's gonna ask for your PS5 controller. Right. So all you guys wondering, uh, we, uh, we have a contest, spearing contest that we go to, and one of the things is a, is a one-time spear challenge. And what you want to do is try to spear the smallest fish with a one-time spear. And what was the size of your northern that you speared this year? I think it was 14 and a quarter. Or so 14. Four, 14 inches, about that big, and it's about probably that wide. And Jared, he got it. Threw, threw this like a dart. Was it this spear or was it your own spear? It was my own, yeah. The old Unabomber. Unabomber. Yep. Pretty fun deal. We're getting there. I have to start stepping down in sandpaper. 150 or 220? 220. How long have you been carving, Jared? I would guess we're probably coming up on 20 years unofficially. But 20 years? Yeah. You started the same time I did. Yeah, I mean, I was probably 10, 12. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I was real. I was young. I wasn't making no stiletto fish, I can tell you that. How many fish do you think you've carved in your life? Man. 20 times 20? Or more than that? I would guess, man. Uh, maybe 20 times 20 would be accurate. Average? Yep. I would guess 500 or less. Yeah. I think I'm creeping up on 2,000. As I've gotten older, I get more particular about my fish. Yeah. And if they don't turn out the way I want, I just put them in a bucket. Yeah. And then my buddies come over and take them out of that bucket. Mm -hmm. Anytime you want to throw a decoy away, you just give it to me. <laughs> I remember if I... I would get a decoy to this point, and if there was something on it I didn't like, I'd just get mad, and I'd be like, bam, break it on the counter. So I got a wood stove <sighs> for that. <laughs> just, I think the, the real treasure comes out at the very end. Thane Johnson said it one time. He's like, you know, when I get done with a fish, it's as good as I can do. Whether everybody holds themselves to that standard, is, it's neither here nor there, but just the fact that you're getting the full flavor so to say of that carving mm -hmm. i would paint this fish different than you might right you know so to stop at this point would kind of minimize but don't you, know, you think there's some value in two people working on something there's a value there yeah how about a bob johnson or a bob johnson and i found that 
decoy all, all ready to go, it just need a paint job, or maybe it didn't have fins in it. And I got to complete a part of Bob's work. You know? That'd be kind of cool, I think. Yeah, that would be. Yeah. Sometimes I think about that, like, if a guy were to freaking just drop dead today, you mm -hmm. know, I would hope that I would have something around, you know, I'd have a box of decoys, or I'd have something put away that my kids could keep. Right. You know, I see a lot of people on online that have, you know, my uncle is a carver, and I don't have any of his work. If anybody knows who mm -hmm. this guy is, you know, or if they if you've heard of this name, or you see a decoy with this marking on her that looks similar to this, this is one that I have, and I'd like to get some more of his stuff. You know, that's that's what I think that's super cool. Yep. We're getting there, Ryan. Yeah. Almost satisfied. What kind of swim do you want it to have? Uh, down and forward. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it sinks. Um, we could go Michigan style. We could go slow and smooth. Or no, this is a Minnesota fish. Yeah, we're this is Min we're in the heart of Minnesota here. Yeah, God's we, country up yeah, here. Yeah, that would be an insult. We don't want any ballerina fish swimming <laughs> around here. Yeah, we like ours to drop hard and fast. <laughs> <laughs> How are we gonna sign this? BB. BB. B B. BB. Broke back. Okay. How would you do a broke back B? I don't know. I still envision a northern with its back broke. Yep, right in half. <laughs> yep. With a spear coming down on it, maybe or something. I don't know. Do you remember the first time we met? Yep. We Perm, sat next to each other. Perm okay. banquet. Oh, Perm banquet. Two thousand and ten. Really? It was. It was right. It was the year that your dad's or your truck caught on fire. Oh. I remember talking with you about that. It was the year that your truck caught on fire at deer season and you burnt your deer rifle yeah. that you got from your dad. Mm -hmm. Was it a lot like the meeting of Doc Holliday and Wise Earth? Uh, it was a little more epic. I mean, the history books will show as time goes on when they make the movie of us. And it's going to be a Minnesota accent, not a Georgian. <laughs> I think uh, Jason Bourne could play you. Matt Damon? Matt Damon. No, if my doppelganger would be that uh, Kenny from We Are the Mill. Jim Bridger on. Uh, Jim Bridger. He's Jim Bridger on uh, The Revenant. Everybody says I look. Oh, like him. well, you know who's related to Jim Bridger. <laughs> Lieutenant Eldo Ray. <laughs> we were talking about King Louie earlier. I got lots of King Louie decoys. Here's a King Louie frog. Look at that, he makes them out of uh, pink grapefruit juice cans, the fins, and then he takes pallets and he cuts these down, these frogs. I mean, this, this to me is just a classic folk. Oh, yeah. I mean, that that's just about as folky as you get right yep. there. I make my decoys And up. he sells them for nothing. I mean, I think I paid what? Seven bucks, yeah. 20 maybe? Maybe 20, I think I paid for this. I'll never forget the first time I met King Louie and he goes, yeah, I make my decoys out of pallet wood. Yeah. And I was like, pallet wood. He's even got glass eyes, I think. I've never heard of a know. damn pallet tree before. Yeah. <laughs> he airbrushes his fish, but to power his airbrush, he likes to do it all by hand. So he'll blow up an inner tube. Are you he, kidding he'll me? He'll blow up an inner tube in his van, and then he'll... In his van? In, yeah, he carves in his van. Are you kidding me? No. And he says he'll sit on the inner tube to put pressure on it, and then... And then I gotta interview that guy. Oh yeah, it's he's intense, dude. He's awesome. That is crazy. I think we're getting there, right, guy? All right. We're just about there. Then the pressure's on. I'm what I call them. I can because say I've been told that 90% of the money that's gotten out of a decoy is the paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can just give you a good canvas to express our love for the sport of carving fish decoys. Try not to miss any details. So how's it how's it like to get away from the big city? It's just nice to be up here with friends. Yeah. I drove past a lot of people to get here because they're like you guys. So. <laughs> There's like a whole state full of people back that way. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's it, man. Is that it? Do you think you can make a decoy in a day? Oh, easily, yeah. Even with drying time? Yeah. Really? Yeah. How long do you think it would take you to make a decoy? One of my typical workers, 
if I'm in my own shop or whatever and yeah. I have all like the tools I'm used to using, yeah. I can be to the point that I'm at that's taking me an hour and a half like this with one of those fish, I could be there in an hour and 15 minutes. What would have saved you time on this? Um, I use a specific thing to undercut the gills. Yeah. That would have taken less time. I use um, like these sanding drums. Yeah. I have five or seven of them. Like, yeah. I have, you see the, the grit yep. paper on this is like yep. 60. Yep. I have a All 60, the way down. I have a 60, 120, and 240. So like, I'll back cut this with a 60, yep. and then I'll go over it with 120, and then I'll go over it with 240, mm -hmm. and then I have that flap wheel, yep. and I just, and then you're done. Mm -hmm. You know, then it's just some mild, you know, some light hand sanding. Shoot, I can't. We can get that out. Yeah. How would it, I'm, I'm going to have to tape those when I paint. Do you paint with the eyes on normally, typically? Um, depends on the fish. A lot of times I hand paint the eyes now. Oh, sure. So you have a wood, you have a wood dowel you put in. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to take them out anyway, right? To just glue them in or what? Do you want it clear coated? Do you want it spun or do you want to just uh, triple? I did, uh, I did some decoys a number of years ago where I bought a, several cans, like, I went to a, a Home Depot and I bought several cans of paint were clear coats mm -hmm. and I thought they were all just I grabbed like I was like here I'll take three of these high gloss whatever turns out one of them was a satin yeah. so I painted like a whole run of decoys uh, satin finish and uh, they turn out really cool turned they turned they turned out there you go Ryan she all done Hand her to you now. Dang, Dang, that's cool. Look at that thing. What a beaut. That is gorgeous. Well, I learned a lot of stuff today, Jared. I did. Now the now the real yeah. learning is gonna begin. You take my time on that on the paint job for sure. Do it some justice. I wish we had a week to do this. We could do a few of them. Maybe we'll do a series. You never know. Might take time, but it's fishing opener. Yeah. Jared was out in the kayak earlier today and he was uh, spotting crappies and sunfish and northern and walleye and a bass Double and a bass. snapping turtle and snap all on shore I mean offshore yep kayaking watching guys go out uh, trolling out in the middle of the lake little, little did they know but we'll keep that a secret and we not say yeah it's gorgeous I love the fat I love the fat bellies on fish I just so we're taking a break from carving and uh, Jared and the boys here, they're uh, fishing, fishing opener. Jared, uh, you had some success this morning. Yeah, I caught about 20 northerns. It's been, uh, been a productive day. Yeah. Uh, no crappies, no sunnies, and uh, one walleye, but we shook that one loose into the fry pan, so. Yeah. Yep. How big was it? Uh, 23 and a half. Wow. One of the better ones I've caught in yep. the last couple, of, <laughs> couple of years. Yeah, everyone's enjoying the beautiful weather. Minnesota. Got windy today. Small lake. These guys are pretending they're spearing with uh, kayak oars. <laughs> Quick plug here, Jared Spinsky works for Authority Deck and Fencing. They brought this um, dock in for us all the way from Clearwater. That's where their home base is. They put their own decking on here. Anything to say about that? Free delivery as long as we get to fish off it. Exactly. <laughs>